Welcome, this is where nerds come to learn things. If it's your first time here, click on the subscribe button and on the bell icon to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy it. Right. It's another MacBook because I thought it was quite obvious in the packaging. Okay, bottom looks nice. Top looks pretty good too. Only a very slight ding just here and a little slight one there. Highly even noticeable. Screen. Looks excellent as well. No obvious things. Trackpad's good, so it's another 13 inch obviously, so we'll check the 30 inch charger on, see what happens. Have a green light. No orange light, so either there's no battery or the battery's no good. Oh, boop. Okay, that is a bad RAM sound. That's bad RAM. So Most likely bad RAM. So that may not be much of an issue. Let's have it up and have a look, shall we? See what's going on in there. Won't take long. So this is the last, I think it's the last MacBook I've, I've purchased recently. Um, I don't have any more on my watch list. I'm not going to be purchasing any more for a little while until I've actually got through the ones I've already got and um, fixed them up and sold some on that sort of stuff recoup some of the cost I've, I've expended so far trying to you know buy things to work on you know it's expensive doing this stuff so I want to try and get some money back out of it if I can get some machines I can resell that'd be great okay huh, there we go bad RAM sure enough that's why popped out battery is there plugged in um, there you go, there's, a, there's the hard drive stuff, so it's actually there, just not installed. Let's just uh, screw that down, it's not flopping around anywhere. Um, okay, well, that's alright. Let's look and see if I can see a board number. No signs of liquid damage or anything, so that was a RAM. Obviously it's popped out, so that'd be why it was not happy about it. So, um, battery is obviously not happy with. It back in just in case, we'll try it again. Nice signs of liquid damage. Ram probably just came out shipping. Try again. Oh, still not happy with the ram. Okay, let's see if I can solve this problem. Maybe it's not the right RAM. Maybe it's bad RAM. Got mismatched RAM, certainly. It's one of these Apple Original. 2 gigabyte PC3 10600. That's, that's, that's not the right one. 4 gigabyte. They're mismatched, different speeds. That may not be good. Um, I've got some other RAM here, which I believe is original RAM. We should have a different machine, but it should actually work. I just want to see if this is actually far up. You have fan spin. Still beeping. Oh. Okay. Maybe it's not RAM then. Might be a um, a supply issue. Maybe maybe the, the supplier which runs the um, the RAM has got a problem. Well, since doing some diagnostics work on this, I'm going to try and narrow it down just quickly. You know, it's beeping like it's RAM, but it may not be RAM. It could be something dragging down the supply rail. So I've disconnected most of the stuff, not everything. I've got all these little clipping cables, the ones which just pop in, I've just popped all those out. Let's see what happens. I put the original RAM back in again. See if that changes anything. Sometimes it does. Something could be dragging down the supply rail. 
Not that one. Okay. Could still be a ram issue, but it is mismatched. Let's take one out. Down to a single dim now. I've unplugged the battery as well, just to eliminate that. This is different, it's spinning slower. Hey, and we have a light. So we have a potentially bad dim, or it's incompatible. I mean, that's a four gig one, PC3L. Hmm, I don't know. Talking to that. So this like I've got bad dim. Obviously, the rest of it's working now. I've got everything else unplugged. So okay, I'll try plugging things back in again one at a time, and we'll see what happens. Well, there's a couple of things at a time. Let's try it first. And this one here. So not as simple as just going around and seeing what what uh, is loading it down. This is looking. Yep, yeah, that's good. That's working. So it's not those ones. All right. Let's plug these two things in, which is the hard drive flex, which is often the failure point. Try that one as well. Although I didn't have that one, I think I had that ram in there before, didn't I? I had that one in there. Maybe it's just a bad dim. So that's everything plugged back in again, apart from the battery. Just plug that in too. What the hell? All right, this will tell me if it's that dim or not. I think I only try, I think I tried that dim, not this one. Let's try this one. Yeah, look at that. It's going. So, bad ram. Maybe the RAM I tried before wasn't uh, compatible. Uh, yeah, maybe. It might be from a different machine. I think it might be from the 15 or 17 inch these ones. So it could be the wrong RAM. But anyway, that is. Uh, it's trying to run. Wait for the folder. Here we go. That's another working machine. <laughs> Doing pretty well so far at this one. Excellent. And I think I tried the battery in too. Was that orange? Yes, it's gone orange. So it's also charging the battery. Good battery too. Excellent. So, um, <laughs> so two broken machines, and actually, they both work. So if there's anything wrong, it won't be any major. That's a winner. Yeah, so that RAM that's in there is PC3. The one, this other one here we seem to be unhappy with is PC3L. The ones I've tried are DDR3L. So these are probably the same kind as this. Um, so not compatible. So maybe that's all it was. Bad RAM. So this is a computer I was looking at before. You this is obviously going to be attached to another previous piece of video. And I've put this piece of RAM here out, and this is the DDR3L, which was in it, and it's got a DDR3 in it as well, existingly. That's a two megabyte, uh, two gigabyte. This is four gigabyte, so a completely mismatched RAM, right? That may or may not matter. I think usually this case just makes the computer run a bit slower because it's not, it's got to work a bit harder or something to deal with it. I think, but anyway, this computer wouldn't start up. It gave a RAM error, RAM error until I took this module out. Then it would half start. So I got a screen come up. With the system icon saying, you know, no system, which just looked like it's going to start. But when I tried to put a system into it, I couldn't get it to boot all the way up. It only go about halfway. And I found the other module is also playing up. It actually failed RAM test. I got it into, into um, the EFI version of ASD. It's a 2010 model, so it's uh, 138. And it said the RAM's got issues. It did RAM tests and it failed RAM tests on about five things, I think, four things that it failed on RAM. So I took that RAM back out, giving it a clean up with my fiberglass brush here, you know, just running along the, the actual edge of the board like that, and um, brushed it up. And also gently did it on the socket as well, just to try and get onto the contacts on the socket. Just very gently, being careful not to bend them, but you know, bend the contacts. So I put it back in again. It's currently testing. So far, so good. No failures. We'll see. It 
must be close to finishing soon anyway so I'm hoping that that's that problem sorted out now what I might do I've actually did some research on this um, DDR3 and DDR3L now the difference isn't actually that much now what it actually has is the DDR3L is a lower voltage version right the DDR3 is 1.5 volts DDR3L is supposed to work down to 1.35 volts so but it's also supposed to be dual voltage compatible so it should work at 1.5 volts as well in theory so um, that may or may not have been okay so it might have been a coincidence of taking this one out restored operation um, but I'm also thinking maybe it's just dirty connections whoever did this RAM probably didn't have very good clean connections on there or something like that and um, so I might actually try putting this back in again in itself but take that one out and put this one in if this test passes um, just to prove or disprove if this module is okay because if it boots up okay on this module then you know it's all right it might be a combination of both modules together it got confused because you know obviously the other one's been playing up and um, yeah we'll see how we go but I just want to see how this RAM test goes so it's now cleaner connections up but hopefully it's all right but so it's only two gigabytes which isn't really that much but it's probably enough but okay test has just finished and it failed it says data match failed it's still got memory test failure so that module may be no good or it could be the RAM slots themselves so we'll try another module in there right so I'm just booting up off the uh, DDR3L instead so that failed that one test I did try putting in the other slot and it just said no I think the other slot the other slot is bad so I think the top slot has failed so um, we'll see how this goes I'm just going to do only memory tests and um, leave that running for a while and see what happens everything else has passed, I've already checked everything it's, it's only interesting in doing memory tests right now to see if it plays up but I think if I'm getting to pass on that then um, then I think the actual unit will be okay you know if I can get it to pass memory tests then I'll probably get a new system installed and get it booted up nice as you can see zoom a bit it has passed so that's with a 4 gigabyte to RAM in the bottom slot well in the one close to the top face of the board so Pinterest orientation I suppose but uh, in the slot furthest up close to the keyboard is the um, is the slot it's in that's passed as fine but I put it in the other slot it wouldn't even start up so it's obviously got an issue with RAM slots hopefully only one of them so yeah that's that I think it's going to be fixed I'll probably try installing system and see how reliable it is it could still be a bad RAM slot, we'll see how we go. But if you like more videos like this, then make sure you subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notifications so you get to see more of my videos. Um, otherwise, you may not see any more, um, you know, unless you get one suggested to you by chance. So if you like seeing this kind of video or even my electronics type repair videos, then um, make sure you subscribe to my channel and uh, come back and have a look. Or also share this video too, that also helps my channel. Give it a thumbs up, all those kinds of things. It's all good. Catch you later. Bye.